left off last time on this eave wall out here towards the east. You can see I don't have that finished yet. And as you can see, it is quite wet from the snow that blew in here the last two days. But when we come back here to where the wall is finished, I'll give you the brief 360 degree. We got half of this wall done. We've got that gable wall finished. I'll adjust you. We've got our door in out there. Get that closed in, say for one board that I've got to move some stuff out of the way down below so I can get to it. Last night I was out here, I did not run the camera because it was just it was way too miserable. Now we pan around. And we have this one eave wall totally finished. And now we are starting. We're starting to wrap around. And we need to get this framed in tonight. You know, the, the sides there. Under the steeper pitch of the gambrel. Get that framed in. Start to get boards up. And we need to frame that corner in there. So that's where we're at. Fortunately... And you also see where I trimmed some boards off to make a repair a long time ago. I know I'm king procrastinator. Got to get those out of there. These X braces, I'm going to start taking those out and using them as we go now. Another thing over here. We've got to make our big trap door for this. So that shouldn't be too bad. Nice short cuts. We'll just make a frame. We'll put it on hinges. And then... Uh, We'll just tip it up when we need to use it. That'll work out pretty good. So without further ado, we're going to have a, uh, a Thursday timber frame time lapse, I guess, and we'll just time lapse this thing and see how much we can get done in this corner. The wind's really bad tonight, so you're, you're going to have to excuse it. But we've got most of it cut down in here. It's a lot quieter than it was, so it's getting better, guys, and we're getting closer, so we'll see you on the other side.
Well, another weeknight, another couple little things done. It doesn't feel like, you know, when you only see a couple boards and a night go up, it doesn't feel like you're making a lot of progress, but can can tell you the first couple boards on every new wall we start, they always, they're time consuming. So it takes a little bit of, you know, I'm double checking angles, things like that, but we had to get that framed out. We only have one more little section to frame out up here and uh, we're gonna go right across. I'm concentrating on this first or on the second floor more right now trying to get the gable end closed up in the eave wall um, mm -hmm. mostly because when the weather comes in it lands on this floor up here gets blown in and we're getting less and less of it it, it makes it uh, just saturates everything all over again and you got to remember too now that we're getting it closed up the more I close this thing up the harder it's going to be to dry this building out so I kind of want to get this up here closed off as fast as I can, but the weather, you know, I tell you what, the weather has been really bad up here. <coughs> I didn't run the camera last night because it was just, it was really miserable out here last night. And, I mean, I had to close in half of this one eave wall facing the west. So, we, I mean, we have half of the eave wall facing the east, but most of our weather right now is coming out of the west and the northwest. So that's why I'm starting in that corner and working towards the northeast. And it's simply because the more I, boards I can get across, it's just going to cut down the area that's blowing in from that direction. Um, we've got quite a few days of snow coming up, and then I think Sunday it's supposed to be like 49 again. This weather just can't decide what it wants to do this year. Um, the other thing, moving forward, I do plan on boxing in my eaves. I've been debating on how I want to close that in. Uh, when we do the finished layer of siding, I'm going to box those in. And I've been thinking different things on the siding. I love the looks of clapboards, <clears throat> but the only problem I have with cap clapboards is the the upkeep, the maintenance, things like that. If you guys can't tell, there's, there's never any uh, abundance of time here to get that kind of thing done. So I think what we might do, I was looking at hardy board and it's only, I think it's about 108 bucks a square up here primed. That's pretty good price. Now, I don't want it contacting the ground because if water gets up behind it, it doesn't do very well. But the thing I kind of like about the hardy board is I can trim all my corners and all the windows and all the doors with the, uh, it's another uh, smart board they make that's also fairly inexpensive. Um, I can seal all that up and caulk all the seams and everything really easily and it doesn't expand and shrink as much as a lot of other products do. I've been debating on, I was thinking about riving cedar shakes for this thing that I got thinking about. That's going to be a ton of upkeep for a lot of years and I have my doubts whether it's going to keep all the water out I need it to. So basically I'm going to have to live with things still getting a little wet with these sheathing boards on because as they dry out the gaps widen out a good driving rain and it's it's going to be blown in so but that said probably what I will do is give this thing all next summer to dry out I mean everything's going to freeze in here there's going to be some moisture but the biggest thing I don't want is any moisture left from rain and snow and stuff like that I don't want it trapped in the building, not able to escape, because if that happens, things are going to rot. Thing is, what people don't realize is if, obviously, you don't want something like this getting soaked as much as it has here. I mean, the, the weather has played hell on this frame for a couple of years now, and you don't want that. Uh, my problem is here, you know, doing it as I can, as I can afford to, doing this out of pocket. So, it, you know what I mean? It, it's a big building. It's a very big building. It, it doesn't really, camera doesn't really do justice how big this building is. But as we get things closed in and we start getting the shop set up, you'll realize just how big this thing really is. Um, to be honest with you, this is two of my house stacked on top of each other. It's pretty much the size of this building. Uh, we, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have almost 3,000 square feet of shop here in this building altogether, which I'm very excited about. But anyway, I may end up going with the uh, with the Hardy board and the Smart board because it's this stuff really holds up well. It's a really good product and it's really inexpensive. It's cheaper than vinyl siding. 
And I'm going to price that. I thought about putting metal on the building, but I just, I don't like the looks. You know what I mean? I'd rather do kind of a traditional finish on the outside of this thing when we're all said and done. But, um, so, anyway, rambling again. So, just kind of what's going on here, middle of the week. Uh, the weekend, hopefully, uh, we can get some bigger progress videos out. <coughs> Apologize for not running the camera last night, but... Now was one of those things where I was kind of under the gun, had to get it done, and the weather was just breathing. I had, I had the snow melting off, running down my neck outside here in the heat wall. That was just no fun. But we got it done. That's all that matters. And when I came in here today, there wasn't much in here, and that that was good. And that's a good feeling. So every board we put on cuts down on how much is blowing in. So anyway, have a good evening, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.